Live broadcast. So Kyle Snyder, Olympic red shirt year. All right, man. Let's talk. Oh, first off, have you ever been interviewed live uh, besides like Big Tens or anything like that? Um, live? Yeah. I'm not sure. Probably it's... yeah, Big Tens and yeah, I don't really know. A, a lot of guys were using this perico periscope thing at like the uh, World Team Training Camp, but I wasn't really getting interviewed. They were just playing around with it. Just playing around? Now, yeah. now it's a real deal, big dog. Real deal. All right, first thing, above your head right now, impressive sign, uh, you know, 2015 National Champs. I know you didn't meet your goal. Yeah. Right? We all understand that. Everybody gets that about Kyle Snyder, but talk about, you know, how that drove you for what you did to get on, you know, in Madison, Wisconsin, June, and then obviously what happened, uh, you know, last month in uh, Las Vegas. Talk right. about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, First of all, it's just a, a great accomplishment for you, University of Ohio State. I mean, uh, incredible that we, we were able to be the first team to ever do it here um, since 1921. Coach, I know the speech pretty much. Coach Ryan has told it so many times. Uh, there hasn't been a team here who's won an NCAA team title, so it was pretty special to be on that team. And you know, obviously, I didn't meet my goal as a as an individual, but it's kind of it's kind of crazy. The the more Maybe winning the worlds helps a little bit, but like it's the more I, the more I, the more days that are from now to the NCAA is the less I think about it. So I mean, the week after it still really hurt, and uh, you know forever, forever I'm gonna, you know, kind of wish I guess that I was able to at least wrestle the seven minutes in that match and uh, you know see what happened. But I think that the biggest thing for me and my success at the Worlds was just sticking to the process and leaning on the coaches and my training partners here. You know, a lot of people, it's, they're saying, you know, you're, you're in the Olympic red shirt right now. What's going to bring him back to Ohio State? You're here training with your your, your friends, yeah. your teammates, your roommates, all these guys you've lived with. You, you, you know, you, train, you had a whole season with them last year. But, you know, what brings Kyle Snyder back to Ohio State after 2016? Even if that's even if you make the Olympic team, you know, everybody, right. you know, it's not a shoe and you get that. I know someone right. like you gets that. But what does bring you back here? Yeah, I mean, the, the team aspect is, is a big part. Um, being able to come back here and compete with some of my best friends. And this is a place that I, I, I at least plan on training here for the rest of my career. I feel like they've supported me with everything that I need, and I think Coach Ryan will continue to do that. So, uh, you know, I look, I look forward to coming back and competing as a Buckeye. And then get an education is important, too. My dad and my mom valued education over uh, anything that I can achieve in the sport of wrestling, you know. When I was when I was younger, if I came back home with a C on my progress report or something, they'd be like, "All right, you're done wrestling for a week, or you're done. You can't practice." And so that's that's the way they raised me. Getting an education is important, and I know that it's something that I wanted to, that I need to do if I want to, you know, have have success and live a financially independent life when I'm older. How many cycles do you see yourself going through as far as quads, Olympic quads? How many cycles? Is that something you can't even say right now? You're 19, you can't really say, or, or, or how many? I want to I try to wrestle in five Olympic games. I want to try. I, that's what like, I, I want to do at least. So I'd, be, I'd be 39. That'd be 20 years. Wait. I don't know how. I don't even know how old I'd that's be. That's like 20 years. You know yeah, that, right? Yeah, it's like 20 years. Well, actually, I guess the Olympics are next year, so it's like two. 21 years. Yeah, something like that. Five I, Olympic Games. Yeah, I want to try to wrestle in five. That's Olympics. the goal. But obviously, that can. I'm just talking right now, so that could change tomorrow. It can. It can change uh, real quick. But I want to compete for a very, very long time. Nate Thomas is a maniac behind you right now. I mean, yeah. it's not Nate hitting the bag right now, but yeah. Nate's on the airdyne. Looking at guys like that, you got Nate, you got Bo. They brought on, you know, uh, Miles. Miles is he goes to a prep school. He was a prep from a prep school in Maryland, I believe. So that's a guy you're probably pretty f fairly familiar right. with. I, you know, all these guys, Colin Moore. You know, looking at the young guys they're bringing in. What's that mean to you to to, to see these young guys progress and help them as well? It's awesome. Uh, you know, I think Nate, uh, Bo, and you know, we got a couple guys on that Logan still training here that they can they can look up to and um, learn a lot from them too. But our young guys have been doing a great job, all of them. Miles, Keyshawn, Jose, uh, Colin, and then you know we got some walk-ons that came here too that are working really hard. But I've definitely seen a lot of growth in those guys. And then some guys um, who were kind of my training partners last year, I've also seen you know kind of raise their level of wrestling a little bit. So that's been exciting for me to. Um, come back and wrestle them and watch them grow and it's always it's always nice when you can help somebody along the way 
Uh, JD Bergman, what's it like training with the old man? He's beast. He's so he's really good still. I mean, he's hard as a rock, hard to score on. Uh, really positive guy to be around. Um, so can't say anything but good things about him. Him and Terval, you know, looking at the, the guidance you've gotten from those two guys, what's that been like for you? It's been it's been incredible. I mean, Terrell's hurt right now, and he'll be back at the end of October. So I'm pretty excited for him to return and start uh, working out and wrestling with him again. But I've just I've learned um, so much, so many things on and off the mat about how to how to think about the sport correctly, and um, you know your value system. Just just not valuing valuing the accolades as much. Kind of just valuing the wrestling and improving uh, as much as you can that way. You know, looking at you've qualified the weight, Burroughs has qualified that weight. Only two American weights qualified so far. I think a lot of people have lost focus of that. You can actually just think about Iowa City getting on the team. Right. How laser focused are you right now on Iowa City? Or is it like the competition's leading to it? How do you focus and break the season up from here to Iowa City and getting right. on the Olympic team? Right now, kind of all of October to mid November, it's kind of just focusing on no, no, no competitions, just focusing on improving as a wrestler. So I, don't, I won't compete again until the second week of December, um, hopefully in the Brazil Cup. And then I compete once in December at the Brazil Cup. January, I'm going to go to the Regan. And then in February, I'm going to go to the Medved. So I'll hit two tough tournaments before the trials. You're going to both of those? Yeah. Yeah. I want to wrestle on <laughs> both of them. Those are tough. Yeah, I can't wait. Do you want to rematch with Gadisov? I know he wants one with you. Do you want to rematch with him? Sure. I mean, I want to, I just want to, if I, if it doesn't really matter to me, I just want to prove that I'm, I'm the best wrestler in the world and I want to be able to go out there and compete with those guys um, every day, just wrestle as hard as I can. And uh, if, if Kadisov wants a rematch, I'll wrestle him. If Sadulayev wants a rematch, I'll wrestle him. Sadulayev? Yeah. Have you heard, yeah, what's, what's the talk, talk about that hype? I know Willie Saylor, I was saying it was a fake Sadulayev. I was saying, ah, you're, yeah. they're catfishing you right now. But you know, that matchup, do you want that matchup? For sure, it'd be sweet. I, I I'd love to do it at like beat the streets or something. But I know they're they probably are going to be more focused on the Olympic Games and just preparing for that rather than flying over to the states to wrestle an event like that. But I thought it, I thought it was a real account. You know, people were telling me it was real. I, that was just me saying yeah. that. I, I, I could be wrong. I've yeah, been wrong people before. were saying it was real, and a couple people contacted me about setting up the match. And uh, Sotoleev was asking for like a lot of money to yeah. wrestle in it, and we kind of couldn't. Facilitate that, up. yeah. yeah. Facilitate it, and they they wanted to wrestle it in like mid October, and I was like, man, I can't. I'm not gonna be ready yet. I'm take a couple weeks off. Is it like, catch weight too? They want you to drop. Like I'm not sure. Him come up. I mean, you know what I mean. Hopefully like, he could come up because I can't. Uh, making two thirteen is a little hard. A little when, hard. So. When you come back for Ohio State, will you be a heavyweight or a one ninety seven? Right now, it's hard to say, but I. I I, th I think I'm gonna wrestle heavyweight. Heavyweight, most likely. That's yeah. what my thought would be, at least. Yeah. And then cut down to 213 right. during the, the freestyle season. Yeah, I'll probably just stay. I weigh about 223 right now, so I'd stay uh, 223 to 225. So it'd be a hard. I feel good. I feel strong, and I feel like I'm in good shape. So it'd be hard to get down to 97. Again. Looking at 97 kilos, Russia is loaded at 97 kilos. You beat yeah. their number one guy. I think Balinovsky. One of their, Yuri. like their, Yuri Balanovsky, yeah. I think you've lost to him. I haven't wrestled him before. Who's the one that, that beat you at the, the, there's one of the Russians that beat you, right? Gogaev. Go yeah, yeah, at the Junior Worlds. The Gogaev yeah. beat you there, okay. Yeah. So they got him, they've got uh, Godsalov, he's doing heavyweight, I know that, but he can, he's kind of, he can go yeah, both. I think he's down now. But I'm saying, yeah, he's probably going to go down to 97 to try and get on the team. That guy's yeah. like a... Olympic champion, world right. champion. You took him down. You know, you wrestled him and beat the streets. But looking at 97 kilos in Russia, how ridiculous is it competing with those guys? I don't know. It's it's pretty crazy. That's why I want to go to the Oregon and hopefully they send all these guys and I get the opportunity to wrestle them. Uh, you know, that's it's going to be a great opportunity to wrestle some of the best guys in the world. And uh, it's good. Russia can only send one person at my weight class. <laughs> I won't have to wrestle. I mean, first I have to make the team. You know, obviously, and. Uh, that's going to be really, really tough to do because JD's great, Farner's great. We got a lot of good guys here in the states. I win, uh, win. Dustin, Gatson's wrestling. Gatson. Dustin. I mean, there's, yeah, there's a, there's a ton of good Speaking guys. Speaking of rematches, yeah, you want that one? I know you do. Yeah, that'd be exciting. I mean, I won't wrestle anybody domestically, most likely unless they come on the same tour as me until the Olympic trials, really the finals. Yeah, I won't, I won't be competing. Um, in December at the Open, I'll be going to the Brazil Cup. So, uh, 
whoever makes it. I mean, it'd be it'd be great to wrestle Gadsden again, but if he's not the guy that makes it through the uh, trials process, then I'll wrestle you know whoever it is. And uh, I'm sure no matter who it is, it's going to be two or three tough matches that I got to be prepared for. All right, man. You're waiting in the finals of the Olympic trials. Someone's yeah. got to beat you two two out of three in a row. Yeah. What do they got to do to beat you two out of three in a row? I mean, what do they got? I can't tell you what they got to do to beat me. <laughs> you know what I'm no. saying though. Like yeah. what? What? I mean, it's gonna be hard to beat you two matches in a row, or two out of three matches. It's gonna be real hard. Jake Varner, you beat him two matches in a row. Guy's an Olympic champion. To, you know, two-time world medalist. Yeah. When you look at that, you know, like, are you totally at an advantage there? I I I think sitting in the finals is a big advantage. Um, you know, if I had to wrestle through the mini tournament, I mean, that's what you got to do, and you, that you just got to prepare for it a different way. But I know that I sat in the finals in the field of juniors twice. I sat in the finals of the seniors once, and you know, I'm gonna sit in the Olympic trials finals. And I think that having being able to just sit and relax and watch TV and hang out with your family in the hotel room while other guys are wrestling three or four tough matches, um, it definitely gives me the advantage. I feel like I have a little bit more pep in my step, and um, you know. I'm not unbeatable by any means. Uh, anybody can anybody can go out there. On, I, I, I want to be the best wrestler in the world, but I'm not unbeatable. And I have to be prepared to go out there and compete and wrestle as hard as I possibly can. And not, don't be afraid. Just go out there and attack and try to put points on the board. There's one guy you could wrestle in the world right now. You know, what's your dream matchup? There, Reza Yazdani is hurt. Yeah. You know, I mean, that guy's a freak. Right. It's like a fire hydrant. Yeah. It's like a bigger Duran win. Right. You know, I look at that guy. He, he's un incredible. You know, you've lost to, uh, you know, Kyvin Gadsden. Uh, God Solov's beating you, you know, right. in New York City. You've had all these guys. Uh, who do you want to rematch with? Who's your, who's your... My number one rematch? What's your number one rematch? Or number one match you want? Either one. Sadulayev would be my number one match. that's your yeah. number one match? That would be my number one match. And then number one rematch, I'd like to wrestle... Uh, uh, wrestling a he healthy as Dottie would be cool because he's, he's won the world a couple times, so that'd be fun. And then getting a rematch with God. I, I want to wrestle all these guys, man. I don't know. It's hard to pick those. All those guys are so good. It's hard to pick just one, but. All right. Yeah. I know we got some recruits here on campus, so you got anything else for me? Just uh, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Have a good day. All right, buddy. Thanks.